reached the top, he certainly was glad to see me again. later on another souvenir a medal for bravery above and beyond the call of wifely duty I was beginning to discover that this husband of mine had a yen for buying me gadgets and knickknacks which you must admit is a lovely fog we went exploring through the valley of the Tetons. some wild swans, trumpeter swans. They're almost extinct, very rare. I know they are because my very smart husband told me so. We even went buffalo hunting with a camera. Brave hunter, no afraid at all. But squaw stay way back. On the other hand, well, the elk all look quite harmless to me. Nature's hat racks, he called them. Cute. But not to be trifled with, it seems, even if a girl feels so inclined. It was at the Lob and Teton Indian Village I got my next souvenir. A native handbag. And just about the right size to keep the honeymoon loot in, at the rate it was starting to pile up. Even the weather in the valley was exciting. One day, we watched clouds like fluffy pillows roll in ahead of a mountain storm. We felt safe and secure inside. It dawned bright and clear again. A misty dawn along the river. A rosy dawn on the peaks of the mountains. A 
bright dawn up in the snows. And a time for gratitude and thankfulness. We rode the ski lift up Snow King Mountain. worth the scare for me, the view, I mean. Oh, for all that magnificent valley they call Jackson Hole lay there at our feet. We own the world. I try to. I didn't do too badly myself, but my husband did very well indeed. A little show-offy, perhaps. Such grace. Such form. Such wonderful fun.